Hey guys, it's Firefly Kiri, and we are back with another episode of The Walking Dead. And we are literally picking up right where we left off again. So. Bunch of maps about Georgia's cities. Nothing about the train. Hmm. Hey, Ken. What's up? Hope it's all right I chose to keep Ellie with us. Abandoning someone on the side of the road is the same as murder. Turning over a new leaf, huh? I'm just doing what I can. It's fine for now, but we have to deal with it eventually. You want to talk about that? I'm really sorry, Kitty. Nobody deserves this. There's nothing to talk about. You heard Cat. He could be fine. We probably shouldn't ignore it. Nobody's ignoring nothing. I'm not worried. You shouldn't be either. God, we need some help getting this train going. People take notes, right, when we're working on stuff like this? We're smart guys. We can figure it out. God, we need some help getting this train going. People take notes, right, when we're working I, I, on stuff I like this? I accidentally hit that again. We're smart guys. We can figure it out. I'll get back to it. Me too. All right. I have no idea what to do with these. Let's go look out here. Jesus! Kids might like this. This door's gonna hurt. Okay. You aren't gonna like this. Well, let's grab those animal crackers. Let's walk around. Here, found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? It's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. No, um, I don't. But you're probably right. How's that? I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. The body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. Has Clementine said anything to you about Doug or Duck or anything? I'm worried about her. No. That little girl is a puzzle. Yeah, she is. Poor Doug. God, where did yesterday go? I don't know. Man, you were standing right there. Are you doing okay? I was. It's awful. One of the worst things I've seen yet. I'm sorry you and... Oh my God, Clementine had to see that. I like him very much. He spent some time in Belgium. Where your family's from? Yes. Even further away now. Have you heard anything out of Lillian there? Not a peep. I don't like that. She's probably in shock. She did a monstrous thing. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. Ken took off in a hurry. We think the train might actually work. I'm trying to find out how to start the engine. How? I have no idea. Well, someone must have known, right? You're right. Hey, 
Hey, Clem. What are you going to do with Lily? I don't know. Something, I suppose. I don't know what we can do. She killed him. Yeah, it, it's horrible. Poor Clementine. There, we found this. It ducks up for it. Thank you. That's very thoughtful. He isn't fussy, you know. What? Most kids, they're really fussy about what they'll eat. Hate vegetables, that kind of thing. Not duck, huh? No. The most trouble I ever have is making him use a fork. Thank you, Lee. Sure. <sighs> well, I got no idea how to get the engine started. That guy in the cab probably knew. Yeah, well, he isn't talking. Well, he had to learn it somewhere. I need to go check on this bitch. Hey, Lily. Lily. I'm sitting here tied up like an animal while you guys decide what to do with me. It's not like that. Then what's it like? Lily. Alright. Let's go look around. There's gotta be something we can use. Oopsie daisy. Alright. See, nothing this way. Let's check. Let's go this way. Hmm. I've already checked through those. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. Clementine. They can go ask Clementine for that piece of chalk or something. Get down. Talk There's to Clementine. There's a on the train. Do you have any pencils or anything in your pack? No, I wish. Maybe in the RV. What do you need it for? There used to be something written on the notepad that I need to know about. Well, if you're not using it, I'd take it. I'm out of paper, and there's all sorts of new leaves around here. Hmm. Let's go check the RV. There's got to be something in there that we can use. Right there's a pencil. I could have killed you. I had you while you were rummaging around in the front there. I know you did what you did for a reason, and part of me understands. The other part sees you with your back turned to me and knows I could have killed you. I need to go.
Let's focus on the train. Mm. Well, we're fucked if we don't figure out how this thing works. Can't spend the night out here. Duck is still sick, you know. We need to get to the city, the coast. Yeah, I know. Why ain't I moving? There we go. I know Duck is still sick, buddy. We should have just left her butt behind. Perfect. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Alright. Let's see. Alright. Down, down. No, oh, stop. Alright. Let's start off with this one. Number. No! Ah! Come this way. Nope, stop that. Alright, look at the paper. Alright, that needs to be up. That needs to be up. Alright, and that needs to be up. Alright. All right. Now we got to go this one. Yeah. All right. That way then that way. So uh, Doesn't look like the engine has any power. Doesn't look like the engine has any power. But I. Uh... Okay. I tried hitting the number five, but. Alright, let's try this again. Down, down, up, up. Alright, so this needs to be... And then that needs to be down. There we go. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! There it so is. So far, so good. Alright. Now... That needs to be turned... Now we're talking. Alright. Now we can go start her up. Alright. Engine compartment right there. Alright. It was that way first. And then that way. Holy 
shit! We're golden! Yeah, we are. Golden. Man, feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. It's all yours. Attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck and get us unstuck? Yeah. You know, Kenny's got bad attitude with me now. And I ain't about that life. Alright, let's get down. Take anything. I asked if you touched it. I didn't. I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. Is that your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab. Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck? Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on the... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Hmm. <sighs> Talk to Clam. That candy Chuck gave you. Taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Train's cool, huh? I guess. Scary, kind of. How you doing, Ben? I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? Ben. Sorry about the RP. I'm worried. We're really on our own out here now. We're putting some time into this train. Worst comes to worst. Boxcar's safe enough to sleep in. I better get back to it. Hey, Chuck. Howdy. Why are you alone? Why not? Seems to be doing all right. 
fine, man. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids. This one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. Where are you from? You live around here? Hmm. Georgia boy. You saw where I live. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. I don't trust him. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Doc's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. Don't be rude to Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can keep going if you want. Damn right I won't. That's what we're doing. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through. You know it, Cat. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. Choo choo, motherfuckers. Choo choo. <sighs> Man, <laughs> we're going to have to kill Duck. Be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad, get them? No. Ah, living got them. Lee! Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? If you get that off his face, my hands are full here. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. Man, out of time. Gotta go get Kenny. Tell him his son's gonna die. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. I'm sorry. I 
shouldn't talk like that right now. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. Stop the train. Stop it, goddammit! Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? Uh. Calm down and... How the fuck do you calm down after a day like today? By talking to your friend. How many sons are you gonna let die? Shut your mouth! Just leave me the fuck alone! I don't need you, and Doc doesn't need you! You don't even have a child! You don't know what this is like, you fucker! You're not helping my family! You're not helping Clementine! You're not helping anybody! Ah, oh, shit. God damn it, Kenny. You hear me? I... I don't know what to do. Stop the train. Oh, man. And this is where we are going to leave off until next time, guys. So remember, be good, stay safe, but always have fun. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.